guess I'm just going to have to be the fuddy-duddy here. I'm used to it. What the hell's the difference now? But what in the blues the blue fox makes Charlotte Flair such a big deal? What the hell is it about her that I don't see? What the hell is it that I'm not getting? What the hell is it that I miss? What the hell is it about this benefiting from nepotism ass heifer in Charlotte Flair that makes so many people think that she is a big time star and most especially worthy of being in the fucking potential main event at damn WrestleMania? This makes me scratch my head like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, what the fuck is going on here? Part of the smart ass in me. Oh, sure, the old show and its exit pig. Here we go. Fucking guys will let it go. Well, you put a man in a woman's division, of course, they're going to fucking stand out. But besides all of that, talking about Ric Flair with a penis, yeah, I said that right, is you look at her. What is it that she does that people think makes her a fucking star other than the fact that she's Ric Flair's daughter? If you presented her like she wasn't Ric Flair's daughter, there wouldn't be that association there. There wouldn't be that belief by association that she could be that level of performer. There wouldn't be the WWE constantly trying to force her and pound her down your fucking throats. And if you didn't have that, you would just have another lady, and that's just that. She's not great on the mic. Her personality sucks. You're going to tell me she has real presence or charisma? Again, reference the man in a women's division. Of course she's going to have presence by comparison. But beyond all of that... Even in the ring, she's sloppy, she's botchy. Just because you hit some moves doesn't mean that you always execute them well. And it doesn't mean the matches tell a good story. I can't tell you how many times i watched a Charlotte Flair match and been like, what the fuck is supposed to be going on here? And all the while, overlooking botch and sloppy move after sloppy move, and I'm like, this is supposed to be great? This is supposed to be greatness? And when in the hell has Charlotte Flair ever really truly gotten over on her own accord based off of her own talents without the WWE having to completely force her down your throats and or always reminding you that she's Ric Flair's fucking daughter? Like Ronda Rousey got over on her own because she was actually a good performer as a wrestler. Not to mention all the history she has going back to UFC. She's a big name. She's a star. Like you actually can quantify and make tangible her star power, her appeal. And you can say Becky Lynch talking about force. Fuck you! Charlotte Flair has been forced from day fucking one. Still can't get over nearly as much as Becky Lynch can. Charlotte Flair only wishes she could get over as much as Becky Lynch has done here. And now we get to WrestleMania, where you've got the man going against the baddest woman on the planet. It's Becky Lynch, it's Ronda Rousey. All this shit makes sense. Of course they got to figure out a way to put Ric Flair's fucking daughter in the thing. Like, it just throws off the dynamics of everything. The whole thing here should be one-on-one. -on -one. You don't need to be shoehorning Charlotte Flair in. It's awkward, and it throws everything fucking off. Furthermore, if you're only putting her in there, so that way Becky Lynch pins her or makes her tap, then it defeats the whole purpose of the man versus the woman type of debate between Becky Lynch and Rousey because Rousey loses and she doesn't fucking have to put anybody over. Then she could go make a fucking baby or whatever. And you're back to your same old type of bullshit. And in the meantime, you're having Becky Lynch beat somebody that doesn't fucking matter nearly as much as Ronda Rousey and that's a fact. Like, Jesus H. Christ, what is this company's obsession with Charlotte Flair? What is it that makes you think that she gets these tremendously big returns that she is worth always trying to shoehorn and force into every freaking thing? The hell makes you think that she deserves this level of spotlight and this attention at this point in time? Becky Lynch, I get it. Rousey, I certainly get it. Charlotte Flair? Something doesn't fit here, and it's Charlotte fucking Flair! If she had this great, interesting, compelling character, or she was truly remarkable in the ring, or she was always spot on in her promos, the personality, the charisma, the presence always showed through, then that's one thing, I get it. You want to load up potentially your main event, and since it's women, you have fears about it being one-on-one, -on -one, you want to throw a third person there. I get it, that's fine, but Charlotte checks off none of the boxes in any of those damn categories. I am all for Taking the women that you have on your roster and utilizing them. If you're going to pay them, use them. Because women certainly can bring something different to the table. 
There is an element there of fan base that lives for the women that wrestle. Cool. Fine. Also looking at this year's WrestleMania card, the biggest attraction during the match right now would be Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. So of course you gotta go screw that shit up and put Charlotte's nepotistic ass in there. This is crazy. I don't understand why the company might be doing it. Protect Rousey in case you have to have her lose the belt because she's going to go away or whatever. That's just weak. And the dynamics of the triple threat suck typically. It's really, really hard to pull it off. I, I grant you, it's not just a Charlotte Flair thing. It's in general. I'm not a huge fan of triple threats. It's really, really got to be special. Like WrestleMania 20. You know, you had God, you had HBK, and you had the Invisible Man. I mean, what more interesting dynamics can you have? A guy that you can't even see anymore wins the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event of Madison Square Garden. Just think about that. That's compelling television. That's interesting. Having Lady Ric Flair with a penis walk out and be like, look at me, I'm a peacock. How appropriate, cock. Why all of you seem to sit there and want to suck Charlotte Flair's cock? But good Christ, I feel like I'm on crazy pills, and not just because I'm a moron, not just because I'm an idiot doing this crap. It's because I feel like I'm missing something that the rest of the world apparently sees that I just don't think is there. That's star power with Charlotte effing Flair. Find a different match for her. Put her somewhere else on the card. Leave that damn main event alone. Because she doesn't effing belong there. No matter how many fans try to tell me otherwise. No matter how much the company tries to force it down my throat like it's real. It's not. It's BS.